Welcome everyone, my name is Echo and in today's video we are reviewing the build tools add-on created by Lifeboat. The add-on is a whopping 1,340 Minecraft coins. That's £6.69. This add-on is $8. $3 more expensive than World Builder. Very mixed reviews from the community. It currently sits with a 3.5 star rating out of 5 with 29 ratings so far. 45% have been a five star or 24 percent have been a one star according to the creators there are a total of 13 different tools you're able to use they've also outlined that this is accessible and usable on all platforms whether you're playing on keyboard and mouse controller or touch the add-on file size is 661 kilobytes. Hi, everyone. Before we get into today's video, I got a couple of things I want to say. Number one, I do consider this add-on to be very expensive. With that being said, the add-on has been put together very well. I think anyone interested in World Edit add-ons are always going to compare them to World Builder. Now, listen carefully. If you are a technical builder, then World Builder is the better option. But if you're looking for something quick and easy to use this is a great alternative it has some incredible options that i think world builder could actually benefit from and for anyone interested in this add-on before we get the question in the comment section this is a creative add-on only these tools i'm about to show you cannot be crafted in survival now that information is out of the way let me explain how this add-on works once you have this installed in your new or pre-existing worlds you'll be given a book this is the build tools guidebook which has to be placed on the ground. One thing that really annoyed me though, although I am looking central, it does go slightly off. Besides that, if you just want to go to the next page, tap on that page. If you want to go back, do the exact same. So let's go to this page. Let's start with the select tool, copy tool, and the paste tool. From my testing, these are tools you want to keep a hold of all the time. There's the select tool, there's the copy tool, and here is your paste. So I've seen a couple of people check out this add-on and make a couple of mistakes. In order to make your first selection, you want to hit, which is going to be left click on a keyboard and mouse. The next selection, you don't have to tower up with blocks. I've seen people do that. Go ahead and just right click this is going to make your selection now obviously this isn't a great example to copy and paste we will copy a house in just a second but one thing i really liked with this if you don't like this selection crouch and right click and it's going to clear your selection and i just liked how easy this was i would like to copy the stalls but also that house so let's make our first selection left click go over to your selected area i'm gonna stand around about here and i'm gonna right click now all of this has now been selected. Make sure you're happy with this. Then go ahead and tap on this. You can see it says operation complete. It's now being copied. And then go where you would like to paste this. Now, when you activate this, an outline will pop wow. up. Like I said, I liked how easy this was. I think the bottom layer needs to be down by just one. So if we go ahead and tap on that, you can see it's absolutely perfect. Although we managed to get this placement spot on first time, I would like to mess this up. So grab the paste tool. I'm going to fly one more time. I'm going to go ahead and place this in the sky. Really easy to do. Now we'll come back to this in one second, but let's go ahead and activate this one more time. In terms of rotation, you have to crouch and you can see here it's now been rotated 90 degrees, 180 to 70 and then uh zero again so if we go back to this one i'm happy with this one I, i'm not 100 percent happy with this one but there's not a problem because we do have undo tools we're just gonna skip these tools real quick and go to the undo tool and the redo tool so let's go over here i didn't like this so we're gonna undo this and i didn't like this but let's say wait i actually like this one floating you can bring this back and this is something I really liked, how easy it is. I'm not spending my life inside of menus. Just these on their own were just really simple to do. So at this point, sorry, horsey, I could then go ahead and paste this. If we bring this up, I'm going to bring it down by one, activate this. I am 100% happy with this. Now, to be honest with you, I have no idea how big of a scale you're able to copy and paste. So I want to copy all of these. I don't want the fountain in. I'm going to go a little bit higher. 
I guess that is going to be okay. I'm going to copy this. It's working. And then we're going to work on pasting this. Quite a big copy and paste. We'll do this one here. That one's a little bit too low for me. So we're going to undo that. We're going to raise this. Again, it's a lot of trial and errors with this. Is that one okay? I mean, I could argue and say I'm relatively happy with that. So you can copy large quantities of land. The next three tools we have are cut, delete, and fill. So let's grab this. Let's grab this. Let's grab this, which will also do something very similar. But I'm going to keep this building. I don't like that this building is facing that way. So I would like to cut this from existence. So on this occasion, I would recommend placing down a block. So once you've done that, select this as your first selection go to the next location so we're gonna go to about here i'm happy with that we're gonna hit cut and it's gonna delete it all now of course you can undo this and the delete tool works somewhat similar Bye -bye. i couldn't actually tell a difference between these two let's work with the fill tool once again you're going to need your selection so we're going to select our first area we're then going to come over to this area it's time to replace this with a different block I'm happy with the selection. Go ahead and tap on this. And then what you want to do is hold the block that you would like to replace with. So I'm going to be using diamond for example. We've now replaced all of those existing blocks with diamonds. If you're not happy with that, go ahead and grab another block. Let's go with obsidian and just simply, oh, hold on, activate this and crouch with this. That's now all being replaced. I haven't actually tried a couple of things here. Number one, I haven't messed around with this on like a wall scale. So we'll see how this works. Now, I would like to do fill, but I want to see what happens if we were to do this with like a water bucket. Yes, yes, you can. And this is the reason why I liked to have the undo tool. So we've just undone the water source, I'm making sure this works fine and actually gets rid of all the water source. It does. So let's go with, I'm guessing it's going to work the exact same with lava. Fill, crouch. Yes, it does. We're going to get rid of this one a little bit faster though. Now for me personally, this tool is brilliant for setting up my add-on worlds. Go ahead and tap that. Go ahead and tap that. Tap on fill. Tap on this. Boom. All of this area is now back to normal. Although I've kind of had a little bit of a nightmare over there. The other tool that's available here is your settings tool. And it says only the host can manage player permissions. Interact to open the settings. Toggle which players can use this tool. So again, thinking of multiplayer aspects, which I like, go ahead and just tap on this. You can have default permissions or you can have this off and hit submit. I'm playing alone. So obviously players aren't available there. But if you're using this in your realms or your SMPs, you can mess around with that. Now it's time for the exciting tools. We have the brush tool. Feel free to read this information if you want to. In order for this to work, go ahead and crouch and then tap. And this is going to give you access to this. We have sphere and cube options. If I was to go ahead and tap, you can see here we are just replacing the ground. That is because I turned this on before. Now, if I was to go ahead and completely spam this, by the way, I can undo every single one of these. Every single action that I've just done can be undone. So by default, this is going to have air available. So if I was to then tap on this, you can see here the mini spheres are now starting to pop up. And you can change the size of these. But again, once again, if you don't like it, Feel free to undo this. We're going to crouch. We're going to change this to diamond underscore block. We're going to have this much bigger. Have this as a cube and hit submit. And you'll notice how big the cubes are. I also liked how they align absolutely perfectly. All done with crouching. We're going to change it to a sphere. I'm going to change this to smooth underscore stone. I'm going to have this on a much larger scale and softness, but also hollow as well. So this is now a hollow one. As you can see here, you would then be able to mess around with this if you wanted to. So hold on, how big can we make these? Crouch, make this even bigger. Softness, again, just gives you like the outline here. We want this to now be solid. So we'll do this one right here. There we go. The higher you go up, the better this actually is. So let's go over here real quick. Hold on. Why has it been canceled? Is it because I'm not looking at anything? Maybe it is. Now, the first setting I showed you was to do with ignore air. So what we're going to do here is hit submit. And what this is going to do is just focus on the ground. 
So if you wanted to just keep tapping and have this as a ground option, you can. Just a great way for building and flattening paths. Rather than messing around with the selection one, you could just go ahead and use this one. Although that just replaced a flower. Huh? I just noticed that. For example, I'm going to have the exact same thing. We're going to go cube. We're going to hit submit. And I'm going to change this to dirt. So as you can see, all of... Even the tall grass has been changed. <laughs> and all of the farmer's crops, unfortunately. After the brush tool is going to be the replace tool. There is another one a little bit more advanced later on. But in order for this one to work, you still need your selection tool. So select the area you would like to replace. It then says you need to activate this, which we've done. I would then like to replace the grass block. So we're going to crouch. I would like to replace them with cobblestone. We're then going to crouch again. Really, really simple and easy to do. Another tool I really enjoyed is going to be the travel tool. This thing, when tapped, will just teleport you like an enderman kind of thing or like an ender pearl. But if you hold this, you're able to fly and move relatively quickly. I thought this was really cool. I do a lot of exploring when I'm setting up my add-on videos. So this one was really useful. And if you build on a large scale in the sky, you can go up and down relatively easily. Now there is another option with this. Crouch and activate this. We're able to improve the speed, which uh, yeah, this can get quite crazy, but great for finding the perfect seeds. Time for the more advanced fill tool. This one is great for building, for example, let's say giant walls. So let's say you wanted to build a wall for a castle. Go ahead and gather your selection right here. Once this is selected, use this advanced fill. Now this is going to be your percentage. Everything adds up to 100 in this. So we're going to start really sim simple here with cobblestone. I'm going to do this as like let's do this as 30 percent after that it's gone down to 70 but i would like to change 26 to stone brick we're gonna hit submit i'm happy with that i'm gonna do 22 percent as let's go granite hit submit we're gonna do one more which is also gonna be 22 crazy enough we're gonna do this as snow right snow blocks and as you can see here we've now created a pattern of a wall this one is brilliant to use and I want to show you guys how I would use this. I would use this for floor design. So we're just going to cancel this. I'm going to have this one over here. I'm going to use this as a straight one, for example. I'm happy with that. Fill, dirt, gravel, stone. Again, you can change how much you want to do here. I want to do this as oak log. The final part, I would like to be just regular grass. Hit submit. And now we've made our pattern design. So this one was a really easy and brilliant tool in my eyes. But if you don't like it, hit undo, hit undo, and they're gone. Now the final tool works very similar, but this one just replaces certain lands. So let's say you wanted to replace all of this, right? So what we'll do here is we'll go ahead and select this. I'll go all the way over to here and I want to replace this. We're going to go to replace. We want to replace dirt. We want to replace the dirt with diamond underscore block. We don't want it all to be, so we just want that much. Grass. I want to change some of it to sand. Gravel. Again, you guys get the idea here. I want to do this as oak underscore leaves. Hit submit. And as you can see here, these have now been replaced with the blocks that we have selected. So this one was really good for like terraforming is probably the best way to say this. You could go ahead and replace all of that snow if you wanted to. I actually don't know what's going to happen here, but we're going to replace snow with sand at 100%. So yeah, any of the snow that was here has now been replaced with sand. Anyway, guys, hope today's video has helped you out on deciding on which world edit you would like to get. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below.